Well, the end of a long-standing San Jose tradition is officially near. Just about an hour ago, the San Jose City Council voted to rezone the area around the San Jose flea market. What does that mean? The flea market will move, and in its place, new homes and retail stores. Many people who rely on the flea market for their income say it won't be the same. NBC Bay Area's Damian Trujillo is live at San Jose City Hall. With this development, we are tracking, and Damian, this decision affects so many people. It really does, uh, Janelle. Some of those vendors are still here outside City Hall talking about the City Council decision. Now, there will be more ceremonial votes, uh, but after this vote uh, tonight, this basically seals the deal for the future of the San Jose flea market. Locals call it the flea, and shoppers from across the state have been flocking to it for over 50 years. Tonight, a San Jose City Council vote officially marks the eventual end of the flea. The market is in its current form will close. It's set to be replaced by high-density housing and retail. Councilman David Cohen was able to work out a deal with the property owners that will create a $5 million vendor business transition fund to help vendors relocate. The city could add another $2.5 million, and the flea market can't close for at least three years. The new space will include a five-acre urban village where the city says the vendors can move their shops once the new project is complete. My interest was keeping the market there, or at least some version of the market that would be um, allow us to pay homage to that cultural and economic uh, center in our region. Benders are not happy with the deal. They wanted to keep the flea market as is, even staging a brief hunger strike to draw attention to their cause. I was talking to my colleagues. We didn't get the whole pie that we wanted or the whole cake, but we got a slice, and we're at the table now. You know, that's what we've been fighting for. Uh, in the end, the flea market as we know it will close. For some, it's a sign of growth and change. For others, it's the unwelcomed end of a multi-generational tradition many felt symbolized the fabric of San Jose. Council members Carrasco and Perales were also crucial in brokering this deal. Again, the vendors say they're uh, okay with this deal. They wanted a lot more keep things as is. How personal is this? I bought my first bike at the flea market. I bought the frame in one stand. I bought the handlebars in another, the seat in another. It's personal for a lot of people in San Jose. Back to you in the studio.